Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is Let's Draw Raining Tacos. I take one finger up here at the top on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Next I come right about here and I'm going to do what we call an overlap and I draw curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And right next to that I'm going to put a dot and I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. I come inside and I put a little dotted line inside all of my curved lines. Now this is just adding an extra detail to my drawing. Okay? Now, keep going, keep going, and keep going. Now today's drawing is going to be a lot of repeated images and patterns. So when we come across one, I'll say so. Okay? Next, I come straight down and I draw a straight diagonal line. Come back to this section on the left and draw a curved line up, over, connect. I draw, <clears throat> excuse me, a wavy, wavy line, curved line. Wavy, wavy line, curve line, wavy, wavy line, curve line. I come inside the space and I just add some dots. I come over here on the right hand side and I draw a straight diagonal line. Come back to the top and draw a big curve line up, over, connect. Starting up here on the top, I draw a wavy, wavy line curve line, wavy wavy line, curve line, wavy wavy line. Inside I'm going to add some dots. Come down a little bit and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal line. Come back to this edge, curve line over and connect. Starting over here again, wavy wavy line, curve line, Wavy, wavy line, curve line, wavy, wavy line, curve line. Fill in the inside with some dots. Come down a little bit more, draw me a straight diagonal line. Come back over here, curve line over, straight line connect. Wavy, wavy line, curve line, wavy, wavy line, curve line wavy wavy line. Now come down a little bit further, straight diagonal line, curve line up and over, starting over here, wavy wavy line, curve line, wavy wavy, curve line, wavy wavy, oops, put some dots in this one, and I forgot but put some dots in this one also. Okay, I come back down here on the left, draw my straight diagonal line, curve line up, over, connect, wavy, wavy line, curve line, wavy, wavy, curve line, wavy, wavy, curve line, put some dots inside. Now, everybody's going to end up with a different amount. I think I'm going to fit one more here. Straight diagonal line, curve line up, over, down, connect, wavy, wavy line, curve line, wavy, wavy, curve line, wavy, wavy line. Inside I'm going to add some dots. Okay. Now I come back over here and add a slant. I put a dot 
and I draw a curve line down, up, connect. Come over here, put a dot, curve line down, up, connect, put a dot, curve line down, up, connect. I'm going to work my way through my drawing, but I'm going to try and keep it slanted a little bit. Curve line, up, connect, put a dot, 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 curve line, up, connect. Now I look at my drawing. Do I have any holes that need a dot, maybe here, and a curve line, up, connect, dot, curve line, up, connect, maybe one here, dot, curve line, up, connect, maybe one more here, dot, curve line, up, connect. Okay, those are all repeating images. These are all repeating images. And now we're going to do a dotted line. And the dotted line is going to also be at a slant. Jump over your images. Please do not draw through your drawing. You know, and sometimes mine look a little wackadoodle because I'm drawing this on my wall, art wall, and not sitting down like you all are, I hope. So my stuff gets a little wacky looking, but basically we want a dotted line all the way down and all the way over. Take your time, makes a difference on how good your drawing ends up, okay? I think that's all. We're ready to color. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is color all these tacos. So I get a brown out and I color these tacos shells all the way down, all the way down. You can color them any color brown you want. If you've got tan or one of the other fancier browns, you can use that. But if you don't, you can just use a regular brown crayon. Next, I take my green and these little wavy, wavy lines are supposed to be lettuce. So I take my green and I color in all of my lettuce. Move your way down, over, 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 down and over. Then I come back in with my red and this is my tomatoes or my chilies or my salsa and I color these all in red, okay? Tacos. Some of you are going to have more tacos, some of you are going to have less tacos. We all draw differently, but we want them to be raining tacos, okay? So with that in mind, I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to color my raindrops a dark blue. Okay, and you can use any blue you want, but I'm using this one your standard blue. You'll color this in better, like make it nice and neat. I'm just showing you generally what we're doing. So I'm going to do this dark, dark blue because I'm going to do a light loop-de-loop -loop all the way around my clouds, my raindrops, my tacos. I'm going to color this a light blue loop-de-loop -loop just to give my background some color and like I said you can do any colors you want blue colors whatever okay 
And again, as always, you will do a way better job than I am doing right now. Last but not least, if you have gray, or maybe even a black, if you use it lightly, just go around the edges of your curved lines up here. Leave the center white. But you can do your edges, your inside edges, with a gray crayon. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my raining tacos all colored in. And uh, every once in a while, it's good to do art just to have fun and feel good about what's going on. Okay, bye-bye.